Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to the Neural Cloud video. Alright, let's talk about what is happening in Neural Cloud right now, if you guys are not aware, and what's coming soon uh, in approximately a couple of days. So let's talk about everything. So first things first, if you guys are not aware, currently Neural Cloud has the Christmas uh, event going on. We have the Christmas bonus login, the Win3 Gathering. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys do the sign-in bonus. This is the one that players have been complaining about. But hey, we are still getting the stamina regardless. Alongside with that, we're also going to get a times 2 right now going on with the fragment search all right so fragment search times two is apparently very very important very uh, crucial so that means you will be able to farm a lot of shards for these characters if you guys are not aware that how this neural cloud works is basically you only need to pull the character once so once you have pulled the character once it's all up to farming the shards right ideally you're trying to farm the shards as much as you can uh, hopefully to max them out so that's just how it works uh, similar to how blue archive works as well so also one more thing is vulnerability check right here so you can see right here in vulnerability check there's also times two going on so pretty cool times two here times two in the uh, fragment search now one thing that i get asked a lot is who should you be farming right so i've been farming hubble for sure for me personally right now i'm focusing on two snipers which is hubble and kuro i do not recommend farming for croak some people have been farming for croak uh Nothing against Croak, but it's just that her fragments will be available every single day from the vulnerability check. So if you go to the shop right here, you will know what I'm talking about. Like Croak fragments can be purchased five times uh, a day, right? So it's always going to be there. You will never run out of Croak fragments. So I do think that, uh, you know, like if you're trying to... Sure, you can also prioritize on farming Croak first to max her out first. But I do think that uh, right now, like any of these characters that can be purchased here, for me, ideally, I wouldn't focus on, you know, trying to... You can also refresh if you want to for 10 of these, which is not too bad if you're trying to rush a little bit. So let me show you guys. Notice if I refresh, there we go. Uh, for 10 of that, you can now buy 5 again. So again, if you're trying to like fully go all in, max out your croak, uh, it only costs 10, right? To try to refresh it. So maybe it's worth it to do it during the times 2 drop since you're getting times 2 mats anyways, right? So yeah, alongside with that, let's talk about the next upcoming characters. So if you guys are not aware, they post this up on Twitter. So in the next couple of days, uh, December 28th. So this is going to be three days after Christmas. So we're going to get a new event, event called Divine Heresy. Now, the current event is going to go away apparently, so the Kuro's uh, event is going to end. So make sure you guys try your best to do as much as you can right here, uh, empty out the shop if you can. Right, ideally you just farm this over and over and over and over again. Uh, for me, I'm not sure if I st I'm going to buy this, the algorithm set a la carte box or the reconfiguration generator. But my priority is ideally, this one I've already purchased, I've already emptied out the second, uh, you know, the second shop. But third one, I've been focusing on the skill sample. This one is probably the one that's going to hold the most value, at least for me. Uh, Decoin and Combat XP, I have a ton of this, right? Uh, because I've already, uh, if you guys are not aware, recently I also got my Oasis to 100%. So that means everything here is maxed out. Level 10 of everything uh, that you can max out on, right? So definitely, oh, Energizer capacity is full. That's, uh, that's interesting. So I need to try and use some of the energizer later on as well so let's talk about the new characters first let's move on a little bit uh the divine he heresy event is going to come with two new characters as you can see right here so the character on the left is going to be the lazy so she's a mummy huge asset for sure and she is sort of a bait banner a lot of people might fall for it might look at her and be like oh i'm gonna pull for that for that huge huge asset but I would say like if you are trying to follow the meta uh this is the girl that you want to pull for the one on the right hatsuchiri now hatsuchiri is going to be oh if you miss out on her man like uh you are like kind of screwing yourself over apparently she is so meta in the cn that she's like the strongest warrior in the game now i will show you guys a tier list shortly but between these two i know not many people are going to like her because uh hatsuchiri because she's flat and stuff but hey uh, I'll be honest with you, you gotta pick, right? Waifu or meta? Like, just, you know, decide carefully up to you. But for um warrior, like, for me right now, I do not have any strong warrior. So, my own account, I know, like, I do not 
did not pull Aki, I did not get Aki. So if you have Aki, probably you might not need Hasuchiri that much. But yeah, Hasuchiri is going to be really, really strong. Uh, the strongest warrior in the game because she has the ability to move to the enemy backline, deal massive AoE, which is just insane. Like, her value is just... She has so much to her, like she's probably worth 2 units itself, right? Something that you want to keep in mind. Somebody already posted their gifts as well. A big shout out to Snell109 from the NeuroCloud Reddit. So this is Hatsuchiri gifts. If you guys are trying to prepare in advance, uh, you can start going to the factory. You know, if you guys are not aware, uh, hopefully you guys are. But you can craft all of these gifts in the uh, factory, right? So uh, under the gift workshop right here, you can craft all of these uh, scroll to the bottom. Yeah, you can start preparing in advance if that's what you want to do. Deluxe Cake for Hatsuchiri is going to be the premium one. And also for Delessi, it's going to be meal for two. Now let's show you guys a little bit uh, of Delessi. Alright, this is how she works, how she operates. Okay, you can see. Okay, so this is her attack animation. Very cool. Alright, you can see pretty good big massive AoE right there. Uh, but in her chibi form, yeah, I think she's pretty cute, right? And then let's have a look at Hatsuchiri instead. Now look at this, Hatsuchiri has the ability to dash all the way to the back line. Ooh. She literally just one-shotted the other character. And man, she actually looks doesn't look that bad. Look at the damage that she's doing, right? She's very mobile. She can move very quickly across the map. Uh, which makes her one of the strongest warrior. She's definitely a very strong assassin. Uh, the ability to basically just jump all the way to enemy's backline. I don't think we have any character that can do that. Yanni can sort of do that in a way. But uh, I think Hasuchiri can, can move further, right? So uh, that's like some, some sort of hidden passive ability for sure. Now let's show you guys off this uh, tier list that I found as well. Uh, hopefully give you guys an idea. So this tier list is pretty... I would say pretty uh, recent one, uh, 17th of November, right? So it's like one month ago uh, from the CN server. Hopefully give you guys a gauge of where the Lassie is going to be. So you can see the Lassie is like right here upon the tier 2, tier 1 uh, rankings. So this is like upon, this is like comparing all the medics you can see. But you can see she's not exactly super top tier by any means. In case you guys are wondering, this Emotep is not the current Emotep that we have. Uh, in CN, they have like some sort of like, I don't know what you call it, like awakening or something that will make her strong in the future. So you can maybe prepare for that in advance. But if you can see Hatsuchiri right here for comparing to all the other warriors, right? Even Aki is like nowhere near as strong apparently. Uh, even Betty and Hatsuchiri like right here, tier zero. So that is going to be you know, like something that you guys have to pay attention to, even up to, you know, something that's like the most recent tier list in CN. And think carefully if you want to focus on Meta or Waifu, I'll let you guys decide between these two girls who you want to save for. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think of NeuroCloud so far. Definitely having a blast. Uh, I'm going to go do my times two fragments. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you haven't already subscribed, give this video a like. Have a nice day. Merry Christmas. Goodbye.